So this is the process for broaching the Eno freewheel. You can see it has this raised lip on it, which is uh, hell on the lathe. So the first step we do when we do one of these is grind off that outside lip. There's one lip gone. Alright, and that brings the surface down on the outside, and the next step is opening it up in the lathe. Now it gets chucked up in the lathe here. Tile indicator and we take off on the inside race and also the four jaw chuck there grabs only from the inside race. That way if the outside isn't concentric, it doesn't make a difference. process is fairly time consuming. Since we're just measuring run out, it doesn't matter what the number is on the dial indicator, it just matters what the change in number is on the dial indicator. So the trick is in finding the high spot and then shifting it over. like the run out within about about three or four now down to about two and a half three thousandths run out Getting pretty close. Taking out the last two or three thou can be as time consuming as taking out the first 
50 or 100. Okay, I'm going to quit. That's about one thousandth run out, and uh, that's as precise as we're going. You're going to love how this lathe starts. <clears throat> Lift the lever, take the slack off the belt, pinch the belt, twirl the motor in the direction you want it to spin in, and let it drop. Definitely OSHA. piece of emery cloth on a wooden dowel. Cleaning up that wire edge on it. Dimensionally checking it. That's the broaching tool that Fed made for it. Not yet. It's close. Needs a little more. Yeah, even on the outside sometimes it doesn't look like it's in the lathe right. The inside was solid, so. Yep. And that's what matters. Hold in the light there. Makes a funny cut. Perfect. So that's how we open up the inside to fit the broaching tool. <laughs>